In the video on sentence form, we started with a two-measure basic idea and repeated it immediately. This video explores the other option, that is, to do something else, in the context of a theme type known as the period. Whereas a sentence begins with a basic idea and its immediate repetition, a period begins with a basic idea followed by a contrasting idea, known collectively as an antecedent. There's no rule book for how exactly this idea contrasts with the basic idea, and there's a certain ambiguity around whether an idea is genuinely contrasting or simply a variation of the basic idea. The key, however, is to watch the baseline and the underlying harmonic progression. As this diagram shows, even within the span of four measures, the music goes on a small journey such that it makes sense to speak of an ending or cadence. The lack of repetition immediately after the basic idea, as well as the abandonment of the tonic either at the beginning or midway through the contrasting idea, gives a sense of movement, of getting off the ground and going somewhere. When this process comes to an end, we can speak of a cadence, and in general, antecedents end with a weak cadence, usually half cadences, as seen here, but occasionally imperfect authentic cadences, as seen here. So how does this phrase function within a larger theme? In a period form, an antecedent serves as a beginning, which is followed by a complementary ending phrase called a consequent. This consequent phrase begins with the same basic idea as the antecedent, leads to a contrasting idea of some kind, and ends with a strong cadence, usually a perfect authentic cadence. The complementary nature of these two formal functions, antecedent and consequent, gives the period form a sense of balance and symmetry, which contrasts markedly with the highly vectored, forward-driving nature of the sentence form. As you listen to the following examples, make special note of their cadential and melodic symmetry. In summary, the sentence and period are theme types made up of formal functions, which represent ways of beginning, being in the middle, and ending. Whereas the sentence theme type consists of three formal functions, presentation, continuation, and cadential, the period theme type consists of two formal functions, antecedent and consequent.